All right, guys, I got something new for you. For those of you that have been asking for a sling uh, to work on a weapon that doesn't have a quick detach at the back of the receiver, um, I've ha this question has been asked of me directly, and then it's been asked of me indirectly when I'm reading between the lines of some of the questions that I'm being asked. So, the standard Tier 1 Citizen single point sling works off of a quick detach, hooks into the back of the receiver, and um, it is a solid lockup. But some of you don't have a quick detach. Uh, plate at the back of your receiver and you're also dealing with a and actually yeah, this one's staked You're dealing with a weapon that has been staked very solidly um, Some of the mil spec weapons out there actually come with double staking So you're gonna have one heck of a time taking those apart and trust me. I've tried um, I mean you're talking a blowtorch and you're probably gonna wreck something in the process So for those of you that don't have the quick detach plate watch you slide it underneath the buffer tube pass the sling back through the cord. And when you get to here, slide this forward and then crank on it. This is a loop of paracord that's actually been stitched with the same stitching that I use here. It's been stitched to itself, meaning it's been stitched like this to itself in a loop. So it's not stitched to the sling, it's actually free floating inside the sling so that it's never going to come loose. And this section right here on the tube has a very slight step down on most AR-15 buffer tubes. So your sling now has the ability when the weapon is, when you're actually using the weapon, the load goes this way. And you notice it didn't slide back. And it gives you the ability to rack your charging handle and go right past the paracord. So there's, there's no contact issue there. Uh, trust me guys, I laid in bed thinking about this last night and it hit me that there actually would be enough clearance there. It's locked, but here's the really cool thing. It's full ambi. I mean, your your weapon has the same rotation that you have when you're locked in with the QD, right? And you've got full rotation. Well, now you have full rotation with the paracord sling. So there you go, guys. Now you've got all the functionality of the Tier 1 Citizen single point sling. It's fully ambi. Um, you can do the storage of the weapon, just like you're accustomed to. You can do the precision shot. Everything that you're accustomed to with the standard Tier 1 Citizen Single Point Sling is on this sling too. Charging handle goes right by it. You don't even, can't even tell that it's there. But if you've got a weapon where you can't get that back plate off, you don't want to get that back plate off, you don't want to risk damaging your gun, and guys, unless you know what you're doing, Unless you have the tooling that I do to take these guns apart, you're going to jack things up trying to, trying to get these things off. Not once, but several times over the last several weeks, I've been repeatedly asked uh, if I sell the quick detach plate that goes with it and do I do the service. Well, guys, I don't take guns in because it is too easy to ruin a gun trying to get that back plate off. So that's why I made this sling for you guys so you can immediately just drop a sling on that gun. If you guys have any questions, leave them for me below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.